much for that before I get kicked. Now remember that other Perry on stage went before the liquid that tastes so good. She's a beautiful cat blood. She's just so good. Come on, look out and not get sick. I know, Robert. Too bad you can't end up in an elderberry. Have you ever had these before? I have not. Would you like to try it? This, yeah, these are elderberry. Yes, yeah, so it's, you know, a more homeopathic way to prevent illness yeah. before you are sick. But these taste delicious. So there's your snack. Oh, my God. This is such a great idea. And it tastes like pink licorice. So it's pink licorice. Is that the pink that tastes nice? Yeah, so it's elderberry. It's delicious. You see this, like, these melted down blackberry jelly? Isn't it so good? I've never had it. Sounds like a, a nice concoction. Oh, so that's it. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. I'm like, I'm like kicking my my little root tea thing here. I'm like, this is root juice that we have in Mexico. Oh, I love my root tea. It tastes like pure root. Why don't you order what you want? Oh, they're sweet. They're like sweet tarts. Anyway, so now really, I'm just trying to build everyone's immunity system up because I like that. Oh, I really don't. Yeah, I like it. Okay, this one for elderberry at the grocery store. It, it comes in liquids. It's delicious. Or um, it's it's a kid's too. Anyway, okay. Well, I thought you were just jealous because we got these ready to go for kids. Yes, that's what yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, so there's your snack. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what I've been trying to say before, I love a good, very listenable, very feel-good. And it just happens to be one of these bands that when I get, I get when you, you ask me to play for Sweet Nation, I'm all, you sing that song that one time on your way. I'm like, it's like, it always ends up being this one and it's it's called banners but this is a new song and it's called no one's loser we should just call it one's love than some of them. Yeah, anyway, I know. A lot of sloshing about one song I did before. And it was very nice, so I thought I would introduce them again in case you missed it the first time. All right, I own a suitcase a few months back, and I love it. I don't know if any of you on the show have a getaway suitcase, or if you've seen it, maybe it's advertised on Instagram. It's a very affordable suitcase for card show. Uh-huh. It's split into two compartments, and so I'm a disaster when I pack. I'm a disaster with my life, period. So to have an away suitcase is really great, because it splits in half. Um, but I got really excited today, though. So this wasn't really supposed to be like the away suitcase. It's like the holiday season we're traveling. It comes in all different sizes. They range. It, you know, they're $100 to $200 suitcases, all the big ones. Um, tons of sizes, tons of colors, really well made. So you get the hard shell, but you get two halves, right, that close off from each other. It's just a really convenient way to pack. I love the way they do these suitcases. But they came out, again, with these minis. Um, they're so tiny for it. Okay, so they're miniature versions of of the big suitcase and they already just sold out of them. I didn't even know these existed. They're only $45. I think it's a great gift. So it's basically the size of a toiletry kit or a makeup bag, but they're super cool and they look like a miniature suitcase. I think seeing a suitcase is a great gift for someone that travels a lot because you never want to spend money on a suitcase for yourself. Right. Uh, but check out Away. Really, really cool stuff. I really, I've been really happy with my suitcase. I'm on my second size one and I want this mini because it's super cute. Tell me how your suitcase is going. Yeah. Yeah, you should hear the other bands here. Every time I'm like sitting here trying to find my own little thing. Yeah, so I just have on it. Uh huh. Uh, you love your shoe, you love this Christmas look. Thank you. My crappy luggage in your boy. I know. Yeah, it's morning time. Yeah. Well, I just figured I should buy something you know, like quick for that. Alright, just because they've taken away all the Instagram likes doesn't mean you shouldn't still have fire content. Yeah, you do. And I have an app that I use that photos in, and I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's Lost at Glasgow Photos. It's called Santa. Yeah, so it's P-A-C-Z-A. I think it has the best filters that exist. I don't tend to over... I don't, I don't tend to over-edit 
Why do I see what I mean doing tap dance and stuff? Tell that guy what to do. Tell her to hold sex. Tell her things. Like, make her look tanner. You know, make the colors pop more. That sort of thing. Some people have to add green to photos. I don't know if I'm talking over your head, but I see with editing, but I'm just curious. You're into it. And even though I know we noticed uh, as of yesterday, talked about half of us have lost the ability to see. And like, Zoe can't see lights anymore. I can still see them. So I think they're rolling it out slowly. I can still see my lights. Yeah, we're going to see it. Yeah. First wait, how come it's not showing for you? Oh, it's the YouTube channel. No, I had a good friend yesterday notice it. Yeah. So you can't, but take a look at your Instagram. You may not be able to see number of likes. So I saw some pictures of the app that you're talking about, Dungeon Hearts. It can take away, it's, it's a shadow with overhang. Right, right, right. right. Can you get rid of the shadow? Well, yeah, so I think Yoko and I looked at her. You know, we're especially with kids, you know, if there's a shadow on their face, yeah, mess with the brains, do that sort of thing. Tessa's great. And then this came from a girl that works with me um, because she is got apartment living and she has a dog just like yours, Big Al. Okay. Kind of. Um, but it's a little tougher to get from her mixes. But anyway, she uses this. Have you heard about, like, Fresh Patch? No. It comes in a box, and it's a fresh patch of grass. It's really good for life. Like, any idea? It's pretty fabulous because it'll come with a little crate, and you can get the Fresh Patch. It lasts for a while. Different sizes. It has your dog. So if you're into it, Lenin, you can go inside, too. So it's the actual fresh grass. Grass. Put it on your patio. Really affordable. Put it on your patio. Put it inside your house. See how this might work for you with a puppy. Yes. So they can cut it by the door. They think it's grass. It'll teach them to go push it or put actual real grass on a patch. Oh, I love it. And it comes in a little cardboard box that you just open up and it's got grass. Wow. And then it's it's a really cool, cool thing. So that's called the Fresh Patch. Fresh Patch. Like a mullet. You do. You throw it away. You get a mullet. You throw it away. Put it back. Yeah, selfie. Oh, that's really, that's really smart. Oh, you are you are going to see it. Okay, well, I'll just put it on and I'll give you that. Thank you. Can you get a, a, a riding lawnmower for dogs? You got your little dogs on there to get you going? Well, I can't take a dirt for your dentist or my dirt for so I can't take that dirt for your lawnmower for your dentist. Just automatic floor sweeper is that you were saying? Because this a place for a person to sit, but no one's actually sitting there. Uh -huh. I can sit. I'm going to put my dog in there and just do video on just of, on the... You said your dog in Walmart? No, but that's why I have it on your wall, too. Yeah. I take a picture of it. They're all over YouTube with videos like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you don't... Oh. It's on there now. Oh, you joined in. Oh, good. Yeah, you joined in on that. Dang. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. All right, well, Jenna just hit you with a bunch of cool stuff you can try, including a sun and moon tub. Pretty good spot. Elderberry. Yeah, elderberry. By the way, uh, I said it tasted like Jamaica because apparently Jamaica is hibiscus. Oh. Hmm, it's hibiscus. Okay, that makes sense. I just learned that. I just call it Jamaica. Also, uh, banners, if you want to listen to some good music. Yeah. Oh, way, the mini suitcase. It also has a little tiny one for all your makeup stuff. Yeah. And your poetry. Is that app? The app that Jenna is using for her pictures is Tessa. And the Fresh Patch, if you want your dog to pee indoors and not on your rug. Yeah. Which is really cool. And we'll post this up at KidNation.com. And please check it again next week with some more of what Jenna's seen, too. We'll talk about this. I'm going to be in Tampa visiting some friends. That's what I am. I get to do it for Disney. There we go. Right. Yeah, you're getting to your favorite things from Disney. Okay. Hey, I'm really going with all of this. I'm going to be in uh, Disney now. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to see Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. It's going to kick off at 5 p.m. Where's the show? That's out Saturdays. Yeah, it's on Facebook. Yeah, yeah Facebook and Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, it's also on Walmart. All right, coming up next, the Trail of Beast DVD. Yeah. Yeah.
with us. They got me some salmon in the freaking hot microwave at work the other day. It's so bad. Yeah, I even have to call the police. Not great. Like, can you guys not say what the hell is going on? Yeah, as much as I just hate China. I'm a bird eater. They stand up for everyone else. It's our show. Yeah, this is the thing. I hate when they do the whole point. Well, you were saying the butt. Well, I just felt bad eating the salmon. Now you're watching my hair out. How about I get me a hair that smells like that? It's like fajitas. And then he's over here doing his whisper song and he's reading Canada. Yeah, I read my Canada. Please, Brad. Slow burn. Yeah. You need to be like a bold egg. Yeah, but at least I stay out there. You need to be bold. I love it. I'm eating my eggs out in the studio. Who eats the hot salmon at 8 a.m., by the way? Oh, I mean, that's crazy. Who here has not some all different kind of policies where you are punished? Yeah, exactly. Why are we punished? That's weird. Yeah, no. We need to get out of our own heads. Would you fuck some Afghan spirits? Yeah, for sure. The guy's like, I'm sorry. That's hot dog salmon that he just was very hard. Real salmon. In the dirty water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you got hot all night. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that wasn't wild. That, that wasn't wild and hot salmon. That's not fresh. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wanted something more basic. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Sorry, are you stuck in a heavy ski ski here? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, Cal. Please. <laughs> Hold on one sec. How you doing? Just be glad. Just be glad you're on the phone and not smelling out stinky salmon breath. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you doing right now? I'm at work. Why don't you do some work for a second? I work at uh, the Cotton Club County Fairs. Ah, hell yeah. That's like a whole department for Fair Fair. Well, we, we need a whole department. Uh-huh. All right. How long have you been working there? I have been here uh, 13 years. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you've been applying. You've been there for a minute, right? Way back when. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been for a week. Dang. Oh, my God. That's pretty great. You mentioned they say you've got three benefits. Are you supposed to work for them? Well, you know, I work for Military Affairs. Okay. As a civilian. Oh, that's different than National Service. I got you. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. I am entry. Oh, wow. Well, it's like a whole new firm. Yeah, thank you, Fonseca. Uh, you're welcome. All right, well, well, now we want to take you for some money. We'll see you in Wonder Park, so let's go ahead and step up to the vault. Hello. Come here. I'll get you a draft for you. You want it? Where's Brad? There it is. There it is. Brad, draft for him. Now, you just have to pick one of the vaults that remain. Which one would you like? Any one. All right. Boom. All right. Thank you for asking me out, man. Go ahead and do this one. We're going to vault the whole thing. <laughs> Here you have a big room. I want to call it up. I'd love to increase the money for you in the vault, but our goal is to close at some point here, John. Six out before that vault door closes. Five weeks, thousands, maybe a thousand, maybe two thousand, maybe three thousand. If you're that fortunate, don't forget to say so. Now, we'll see you at 12. Do you want any fancy thing? Yes, I do. All right. Are you crazy? Hey, why don't I start coming out of the vault? Sure. Yeah, I don't know. All right, for a second. Well, let's see how much money you want. Let's do it this way. Big drop, big drop. GG. What the GG? What the GG? 220. 330. 400. 420. 520. 540. 660. My God, I offer you some salmon? No. No. <laughs> she said, no, well, it was a pleasure talking to you, Fonseca. Thank you for listening to the show, and uh, have a wonderful day at work today. <laughs> Thank you for listening. That's how we get to work sometimes. Are we excited for Cal to host this party, right? That's the fucking best thing I've heard in years. We both get to play some money. Uh, but thanks for sure joining us here on Saturday. Tip the best possible you have a good day. Yeah, sure. Appreciate you. It's my Friday, and I'm fucking hating it. And I hope you have fun at this house with all the dogs and weird kid connections. Because that's me. I'm Peter Hughes. He's that kid in the house. Sorry for being a little late. You know what? You can say you're late. I'm sorry for being late. Yeah, you can be late. All right, we're going to take you to the party on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having us on, Chief.
and she also directed the movie and is totally kick-ass. So, uh, there is a, there is a...